My name is Reno and I serve in the Givati Brigade. I grew up without parents. I had to work since I was seven years old. Through the FIDF educational program, you can finish your high school diploma during your service. And I was sent there. It was incredible. I finished my high school diploma, top class. <laughs> I was really moved by finishing something because most of the time I didn't finish anything in my life. They gave me like a second chance that I actually I'm worth something. If you go outside the outside world, you need to have at least a high school diploma. And now I can say proudly that I actually got it. I'm Staff Sergeant Zev from Texas, and I'm a lone soldier in the Gulani Brigade. Being a lone soldier is difficult because even on the weekends when I go home, I go to an empty home, thousands of miles away from my family. My mother's a great cook, and I miss her cooking a lot. But throughout my service, the FIDF was always by my side to make me feel less alone. My name is Dana. I take care of soldiers who come from less than ideal backgrounds. My job is to take that burden off of my soldiers' shoulders. So if the soldier is the breadwinner of the family and without him there won't be food on the table, I make sure that there is food on the table. We can do that because of the support of the friends of the IDF. Together we make sure that the soldiers and the families have what they need and that the soldiers can focus on their mission, protecting the state of Israel. I am Miriam Peretz, a mother of six children. Six years ago, my second son, Eliraz, 32 years old, a deputy commander of Golani Battalion 12, was killed fighting terrorists in the Gaza Strip. 12 years earlier, my beloved Uriel, my firstborn, a major in Sayeret Golani, was killed in the battle in Lebanon. Three years after my son Uriel fell in battle, my daughter Batel, who was only 12 years old, went with an FIDF delegation of bereaved siblings to a summer camp in America. Sadly, we as parents were not emotionally available to give our children what they needed, the support and moments of joy we could not give, you gave instead. I'm Ben, company commander of the Kfir Brigade. Our missions here can be very stressful and dangerous. FIDF's adopt brigade program recognizes these challenges and provides us with ways to recharge both mentally and physically. It boosts our morale and helps us to keep going. It's amazing to think that people around the world are supporting me and my brigade through every step of our journey. My name is Nir. I serve as a combat officer in an elite unit. A few years ago, the FIDF donated a new gym to my base, so I started running. In my last mission, during Operation Protective Edge, when Hamas hid half a ton of explosives under the United Nations clinic and activated when we walked in, the building collapsed and we were buried alive. When I woke up in the hospital, my doctor were amazed I'm still alive. My lungs were burned from the smoke, and my brain suffered from lack of oxygen. However, what saved me was all the training I did at the FIDF donated gym. You can feel the touch of FIDF in the most remote, deserted corners of Israel. <laughs> 